This is an HST question on the normal distribution. So I've written down the most important details of the question on the board already because we're going to refer to them in a minute, but I'm going to read out for the sake of context, I'm going to read out the wording of the entire question. So it's talking about a company that manufactures light globes. This is what it says. The manufacturer's specifications state that the expected life of the light globes is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 170 hours. So I'm using S because that's the, um, <coughs> the reference sheet's label for standard deviation, which I'm going to come back to in a second. The actual question is, um, what is the mean life? I should probably write that down. What we're after is the mean, x bar. Uh, what's the mean life in hours of these light globes if 97.5% of the light globes will last up to 5,000 hours? So that's this piece of information here. So we get given standard deviation. We also get given that a certain proportion of the entire light globe population lasts this long. And what they want us to work out is, well, what's the average lifespan of these light globes? What's X bar in this context? So we need a lot of information, uh, uh, we need a lot of pieces of information that go along with this and the formula and data sheet is going to help us here, okay? So the first thing I would draw, because this is a question about the normal distribution, uh, it literally says, you know, it's normally distributed. I'm going to draw for myself a normal distribution and I'm going to put some labels onto here that are going to help. We've got uh, the middle of the normal distribution right here. And what's relevant about the middle for us, uh, you know, this, this average, which we don't know, we don't know what the value of the average is, but we do know that whatever the average is, it has a Z score of zero. That's what the middle of the actual distribution means. As I go further and further out, um, I get different proportions of this population. And the reason why that's important to me is because this critical piece of information here, 97.5%, it must be linked to how much of this population am I capturing based on how many standard deviations I am from the mean, uh, which is another way of saying like what, what Z scores will give me this proportion, okay? So for instance, uh, just as a bit of revision, if you have a look at Z scores between negative one and one. So if you go one standard deviation away, I'll just, I'll stay in black for now. How much of the population have you captured? Well, if you have a look at the formula in data sheet, it tells you that this section in here is 68%. Um, the, the exact wording of the formula data sheet says, approximately 68% of scores have Z scores between negative one and one. Now 68% is clearly too small for the actual figure that we're interested in here, but keep in mind 68% is just inside here within one standard deviation. This wording here says that um, whatever percentage lasts up to 5,000 hours. So what that would mean is it also includes all of these down here. Up to 5,000 hours includes some dud of a light globe that lasts like three hours, right? That's up to 5,000 hours. So therefore, I also need to include everyone over here. So um, if I went right, like the, the least, the, the shortest amount of lifespan for a light globe down here, okay, um, this is uh, the minimum range. Everyone from here to here lasts up to whatever the amount of hours this score here is, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, because 68% is clearly too small here, I'm gonna go one more standard deviation out. If I go two standard deviations away, then the following data sheet tells me that this space in here, now I am gonna need another color, this space in here represents approximately 95% of the population, uh, or of the light globes, I guess I should say, right? Population of light globes. Now, 95% still isn't our 97.5%, okay? But you know that you can't go any further. You know you can't go to uh, three Z scores away, because when you have a look at the formula data sheet, it reminds you that if you go three Z scores away, three standard deviations away, I should say, um, you get 99.7%, which is too much. You've gone past what this amount should be. So 
This is where I'm going to pause. Where does the extra um, or the missing 2.5% come from? Well, recall what you've got here is you've got a minimum, you've also got uh, a maximum somewhere up here. If what I have colored in orange is 95%, then you also have these little other sections here and here which are everyone else, right? The really, really unusual people, the really above average light globes and the really below average light globes. Now, how much is left behind? And the answer is if 95% is within this range, then 5% is outside that range. But if 5% is outside and there are two pieces that are five that make up the 5%, then clearly each of the pieces is going to be 2.5%. Right, it's half of that five. So now you can see where the 97.5 number comes from. It comes from including all of these scores here. Right? Um, if you had some light globe and it had a Z score of exactly two, then it's going to be 97.5% uh, along in terms of this distribution. Okay, so now we know where the 97.5 comes from. What we need to say is, well, how do I use that to actually answer this question, right? Well, I can imagine that there is a specific light bulb that has exactly 5,000 hours uh, lifespan. So therefore I can say, based on this work that I've done to understand the normal distribution, I can say that 5,000 hour light globe has a Z score of exactly two. Okay, so I can uh, write from this equation, how do I work out a Z score? Well, again, the formula in data sheet will help you. You have a formula right there that the Z score is X minus X bar on S. Remember what this means? X is the actual score of your particular light globe right now. There's the mean lifetime, which is the thing we're trying to work out. There's your standard deviation. Okay, so just carrying on over here because I have more room. This light globe, which has 5,000 hours, which lasts for 5,000 hours, has a Z score of two. So that's what I'm gonna write instead of Z. Its lifespan is 5,000. I don't know what the mean is. I'm gonna find that out in a second. And the standard deviation has been provided to me in the question. So you can see here, this is all I need. This is the equation which will tell me the mean. I just need to rearrange this, do a little bit of algebra. I'll multiply both sides by 170 which leaves me with this. I'll add X bar to both sides, and I'll also subtract 340 from both sides, which leaves me with 4,660. That's the number of hours that it lasts, okay? So just to review, how did I go through this question? Well, I knew that I had to use all of this information here, but how was I going to use it? The big clue for me, in terms of what started me off my working, was this percentage, right? That instantly told me I'm gonna have to do something with Z scores, even though the question never says Z score. Um, when you're trying to work out some percentage of the population and you know the proportion that is permitted, then you're gonna have to say, well, this number of Standard deviations away, this Z score, negative one to one will give me this, um, negative two to two uh, will give me this, and um, you work out which number is appropriate. So that was the first big clue that got me started. Um, then I had to work out, well, how do I get 97.5% exactly? How far away will I have to go? Well, um, that's how I had to think about each step. I used the formula and data sheet to help me remember what the actual numbers were. And you can see that. Um, here is 97.5% of all of the light globes, and they will last up to, everyone in this group will last up to 5,000 hours. Then finally, I used the Z score formula here, um, and I slotted in all the information which came from the question, namely the 5,000 and the 170, and also from my, my logic, my inference, the two working out how far the population could go. So this is uh, one of the ways you would dissect a question to do with the normal distribution. It is a bit tough, but that's why it's, um, I think it's actually the last part of a, a long multi-part question. So that's why it takes a little more brain work to come up with the answer.